This is Paul at Down East Under Creations. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the video. So what do you think, folks? This is a coat rack that I just made. And if you stay tuned and watch the video, I'm going to show you exactly how I made it. And some of you, well, may want to have the opportunity to own it. And you, there's a possibility you could. I'll tell you how. So once a year, oh, towards the end of July, I think it's the last Saturday in July, we have a celebration here in Millbridge, Maine called Millbridge Days. And uh, in every year during that celebration, a local nonprofit, uh, it's Women for Healthy Rural Living, WHRL, and their, uh, well, their website is whrl.org or org. And they hold their annual uh, fundraising auction and raffle. There are a number of items that are donated locally, and they, uh, they usually have a big raffle. Each one is individually raffled. People buy tickets and put them in a pot right in front of the item. And uh, they also have an auction. And usually it's a theme. Uh, one year it was all Adirondack chairs, and another year it was uh, five panel benches that I had built for them. And, uh, well, and, and then sometimes it's paintings, and a lot of times it has to do with artwork. The item will be sent out to local professional artists that all do whatever they want, and then it comes back. Well, this year the theme was coat racks, and um, we bought some some wood, or they, the WHRL bought some wood, and I cut it for them. 12-inch uh, wide uh, board, uh, you know, one-inch board, and uh, I cut it into 36-foot lengths. I mean, 30. Yeah, excuse me. I cut it into 36-inch lengths. And there were a number of them that uh, I had cut, and they went out to the local artist. And the artist will put on whatever hooks they want to put on, but I suspect that most of them are all store-bought. And they put on murals and things. They paint things on the back of the, the coat rack, the, uh, the backing plate. Well, I wanted to throw my hat in the ring, but I'm not much of a painter as far as that work goes. And so what I did was... Uh, I took a live edge slab from local sawmill and I applied a couple of coats of marine grade epoxy after I had dried the slab out and I heat treated it to make sure there were no bugs in it or anything and then I, uh, I saturated it with uh, two coats of marine grade epoxy resin, got it all sealed, uh, sanding between coats and then I applied three coats of uh, exterior spa varnish. So that's all I did to the wood, and that's my backing plate. But then, instead of just getting store-bought hooks, I went to the local tractor supply, and I bought some horseshoes. I bought six horseshoes, because I wanted to have four hangers. And you'll see in the video what I did and how I made them. And, uh, and then, I, of course, I, I mounted them, and uh, I put some mounting hardware on the back, and now I'm good to go. So watch the video. You'll see how I made it. This is going to be one of the items in the auction that will be up for bid. You can bid on it. Um, they have an online auction as well as the local one. And you can bid on this. You can find information about other ones you might see that you might prefer. And uh, whrl.org, there should be something up there about the auction. Follow the links, you know. And uh, you can bid on it and they'll ship it to you if you win. So. Hey, let's get on with the video. You can see how I made it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button, ring the little bell. You know what to do. You gotta subscribe, all that good stuff. So, and don't forget to share and comment too. Thanks for watching.
I made up a very simple jig. Uh, this is so that when I take a horseshoe and I want to take the hook piece that I made from the other horseshoe and I want to tack it in place and I want each one to tack in, in the same spot as the other one so that they're all, you know, they're all even. So I just made up a simple jig and when I clamp that, this holds this piece in position. It's going to allow me to tack it into place and once it's tacked that'll hold well enough I can take it off the jig and then I can fully weld it later. But uh, this way here I get them all uniform and they all look alike and it won't look uh, so wonky. And uh, I think that's going to work out just fine. Just a few scrap pieces of wood and a clamp and that does the trick. There it is. It's uh, just the way I wanted it. The others should come out the exact same way. And I just have to clean this up and then finish weld it. I just tacked it on each side for now to hold it so it'll stay in that position. And I just need three more. position the way I want it. Okay, all clamped up and ready for another tack.
Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and if you do subscribe, remember to ring that little bell so that you can be notified of any new videos that are released. And thanks again for watching.